Hello everyone and welcome to this video where I'll be taking you through how to get a Silent Assassin rating on all three levels of the new Escalation for Dubai on Hitman 3, the Sinbad Stringent that was released today. So you'll have seen uh, at the start you need to grab the kitchen knife off the table where you spawn straight away and head into the art installation to get that first box. So basically the theme of this uh, escalation is that you're going to need to throw a kitchen knife at five boxes uh, and those boxes change location in each round and on the third level there's an additional complication but let's not get into that now. So the reason I've rushed off the start is that for this second one that I'm going to get to you really want to get to it before um, the guard there gets round that corner which he will do pretty quickly so if you're quick you can get there before he does and that's two of the five boxes taken out uh, again I would pay attention to the route I'm taking between the five um, after you've had a few attempts you will you will know where these are so you know finding the locations isn't too tricky which makes level one nice and easy really because on level one they're also generally speaking I think they're all in locations that you can get to with the starting disguise which means that you really shouldn't have much trouble. Uh, here to get past this one enforcer I try chucking something and it goes wrong because these two people both just decide to look at me uh, but when they look away I realize that actually maybe I didn't need to distract them after all because I can just run around nearly getting spotted but not quite to get to the fourth box. Um, for all of these there is a kitchen knife located pretty close to uh, the box so just watch where I pick them up from and that will uh, you know it's not hard to find and there we go that's all five boxes taken out and given that we're quite close to the starting exit that's the exit that I'm going to use I actually end up using a different exit for each level so keeping things fresh changing it up Variety is the spice of life, after all. There was a there was a knife just floating in midair there, uh, which I ran past. I didn't pay it too much attention, but well, mm. you will have seen it. Welcome. Welcome. And there we go. Okay, so starting level two, as I said, uh, the boxes have all changed location, but you still want to grab that first kitchen knife off the table. Uh, you, it never hurts to have more knives than less, than fewer on, on this particular contract. Basically, if you see a knife, you do want to pick it up. So we're going to climb up onto the rigging and vault over the door there and run past that guard who will almost spot you and actually does come and follow me here. But luckily for me, uh, he does not see me because I've already gone. And then I can go into this next room grab the knife on the right, just make sure that the receptionist at the desk there isn't looking to his side basically as you go past and then you can get that second box. So then heading back, it will have been fairly obvious to most of you to do these two together I think and then you should be able to just dodge, you know, getting almost seen but not quite, you should be able to get back here, uh, grab the knife from the security room that you just saw me do it's buried in the notice board in there and you just want to grab that because like I say on this level you can't be quite so sure that you'll be able to find the knife I thought that they were trying to locate a knife by each box but there is one which you'll see in a moment that I couldn't find a knife in the right location for on uh, on this particular level of the escalation just make sure that guard isn't watching the hallway as you vault up there and then we can just take out a few people here because there's no you're not required not to knock out um, anyone so we can given that these areas are isolated and that no one else is going to come through them I thought the I quickest thought thing was just to knock these people out you do need to get the janitorial key that you can get either off the desk that you will have seen me grab it off there or from uh, one of those two maintenance workers. Anyway, we've got the key so we can get through this door. Remember to pick up the knife there on your left again. So we're currently we've got a stock of three knives so we're doing well. Um, but I, I think I actually don't get an opportunity to pick up any more so we've got all the knives that we need now. Now we're heading for this fourth box which is 
Again, at the end of this hallway, you just want to check that the guard to your left isn't actively watching the hallway. He was just about to turn away there, so I get away with coming out of that door. Use your phone to hack the window to open that up. There we go. It's the fourth done. Only one more on this second level. Quite annoying that they don't put a ladder on that third kind of part of the rigging um, so that you could just get down quicker because once we're down there we're actually not in a uh, trespassing area so this is all fine for us. Just make sure that, that enforcer doesn't see you as you head out here to the right um, and we're going to use the helicopter pad as both the location of the final box and also obviously our getaway if you pick up the key there on the on the kind of gantry along to this ladder so get up onto the ledge there are some guards there who you know will almost spot you but not quite one of them is actually coming to have a look at me but i'll be gone by the time they get up here there's the fifth box knifed and just go around the other side of the helicopter and if you picked up that key you'll be good Okay, so the third level, which is probably the most difficult, um, but it's easier in some ways actually. Um, basically the, the boxes have all changed location and you don't need to use, so note it says hit five targets, but it does not say that you need to use the knife. So uh, note that for later. You want to run along this hall and grab the crowbar, that's quite important. And then we're going to go straight along to that third level of the gantry that we were using to get around the map earlier. So again, just be careful of where that guard is when you go up here. Make sure you skirt the camera by running to the right. And then we can use that crowbar to lever open this door. It's not too hard to get a keycard if you want to, but the quickest thing is definitely just to use the crowbar, and no one should hear that. Now, uh, we are going to knock out quite a few people here, because we need a fairly clear area in which to operate. So, firstly, this guy just gets a crowbar to the head. Then we turn on the ice machine, and that will get the chef in here. So just make sure you're behind cover when the chef comes in, obviously. And we can take out the chef as well. And we'll hide his body too. We are actually going to have to do some kind of unorthodox body hiding in a moment, but we can wait for that. So let this guard nearly spot you, very nearly. You want him to come and investigate. It's this is to lure him in and then just make sure you're hiding behind this cover rather than the one closer to the door because he does you know it varies but he does sometimes walk quite far in and you don't want him to see you because then he would become an unconscious witness uh, just yeah. wait for him to turn his back before you throw the crowbar at him that also helps avoid him becoming an un unconscious witness there we go so obviously the container's full, so we can't uh, hide the body. Make sure you grab the uh, rat poison, although you could do that in a moment. I just chose to do it then. And then this guard should just be looking at the kitchen, and you can bash him over the head. But you want to drag his body back into the room behind you. Now this is the unorthodox body hiding that I spoke about earlier. Given that targets, uh, as you'll see in a, bit, in a moment, are going to come through this area, we definitely want the bodies out of the way. And I think leaving them in this corridor behind this room is probably the easiest way to achieve that, given that the container is full and I'm not entirely sure where the next nearest container is. But we're not going to bother with it anyway, we're just going to drag them into this hall. It was fine for me, I, I don't think people come through this hall unless something odd happens. So now we've cleared this area, you just need to be uh, 
Yeah, make sure you grab that guy's gun. If you can get the Uzi with a sight on top type gun, then that's what you want. Uh, we're going to use the rat poison on the Mai Tai. Is it Mai Tai? Some kind of cocktail here. Um, and you want to just be very conscious of where this guard on the external of the property, external area there is, because he's pretty much your main concern now uh, in terms of guards who might see you. So here I decide to, you know, probably could have risked it and jumped out behind him, but I think it's safest to wait until he's heading in the opposite direction. So as soon as he turns around and starts walking the other way, then you can vault over, and you'll see that we're going to head to the outside of the penthouse level here. So, I mentioned earlier, you don't need to use the kitchen knife to get the boxes, and as you're about to see, that's why it was so important that you do try and pick up one of the silenced guns. Definitely you want a silenced gun for this. I think the Uzi-type gun is the best one. Um, you can see there, it's accurate, it's kind of quiet, as you would expect from a suppressed gun. This uh, window cleaner shouldn't give you any trouble. Then just, just watch carefully where I'm going to, uh, otherwise you might take a little while to work out where all the boxes are. Now this feels like it should be more risky than it is in terms of getting spotted by the various guards at the rear of the penthouse, but oh well. And now we're again just waiting for that guard to uh, go back towards the wall. There he goes now. Again, nearly spotted, but not quite there. And then uh, I wasn't as quick as I'd hoped, and you can see that the the target that we will eventually need to take out is just coming to start sipping his cocktail. So I had to quickly try and get the fifth uh, the fifth box. To be honest, you could have done it earlier. That would have been the sensible time to do it. Uh, this box you could obviously do, you know, at any point once you've got the gun. Uh, and it probably would have been sensible to do that before heading heading out of the penthouse level, if you see what I mean. But anyway, it worked. We made it work. I decided to grab that gun because I realised that the target and his bodyguard are going to come in through that door. And then, annoyingly, the bodyguard does follow this guy even... Oh no, they came in through the other door in the end, so I think I switched position quickly. Um, the bodyguard does actually follow him into the bathroom. I was really hoping he'd wait outside or something, but no, no luck. So, we kind of go loud a bit here, but not in a way that matters, because we knock out the bodyguard uh, before he sees us. And that means that the only person who does become aware of us is the target. Uh, and remember, you do have to use the kitchen knife. But obviously, once he's dead, we go back to a silent assassin rating. And I just decide to just leave them there. I haven't been hiding bodies so far, so... Well, I did hide two bodies, but generally speaking, haven't been trying to hide bodies in this escalation. So now, obviously, we just want to escape the map. I thought about going downstairs, which would be the kind of ultra-safe option. But in the end, I decide, you know what? We can make it to the parachute. So, yeah, it's more of the same. We're just waiting for this guy to not be a problem anymore. I do think it's safest to wait until he's turned around, because otherwise he has an annoying propensity to spot you, to be honest, this guard. So, uh, just whilst we're waiting, I'll just say um, I do hope you've enjoyed this. This is the third and final level, obviously, and we are on track for that Silent Assassin finish. So, yeah, I, I enjoyed this escalation. I thought it was pretty good. Um, on the third level there, there's, you know, occasionally it feels like maybe they needed to in include some kind of penalty for knocking people out, because I did do that fairly liberally on the second and third levels. The first level is very easy as well, basically just requires you to memorise locations. But hey, the, the theme with boxes and knives and everything, it's fun. Anyway, I do hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you so much for your time. See you soon.